Okay, guys, anime boys. Yes, my voice sounds awful because um, I am sick. I looked in the mirror. There's like this red stuff at the back of my throat. Anyway, hopefully you can understand me if you speak English. I'm sure you can. Okay, so Triphonics. I've done a lot of this, but um, people still don't really understand, I don't think. So this is how to take a pre-existing UST and fit it to a triphonic bank easily. There's other ways to do it. Um, I can actually show you one really quick. Okay, if you want to do it, you just put a dash there, then that's a da, so you put a in front of the re, and that's a re, so you put a e in front of the mo, and it's already like kind of automatically fitted. I think, yeah. See? Uh, but there's another way to do it, which is way easier. So don't use that method. Unless it's like one or two things. But um, you make sure that the overlap and the modulation, I think, are clear by clicking this. And you clear the STP. Okay, so let's enter random variables. Not that. Uh, 12 for everything and then 12, 12. Okay, so everything's 12. And so we just select all of this just to, and I'll show you how to clear it. To clear it, you press the clear button. I have no idea what that actually reads in, in reads, because I can't read katakana all that well, but, except for that's Mary, uh, and I forgot the word for seconds. And for STP, just press your space in the STP, STP button to get it to clear. So that's everything's clear. Now we go to T, then we go to N, then this is the uh, plugin for diphonic to triphonic, CV to VZ, VCV, 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 VCV. So you click that, and when I was entering those variables, like 12 or whatever, uh, you don't enter those. You just make sure it's clear. And you just do that by clearing. And it was originally clear, which isn't the case in all the USTs. And there are underneath this X thing, my resolution is always set to 800 by 600. There are times when the volume is messed with inside the UST, so you have to um, use accept, P2, P3, accept in that order, which is over here. I don't know how to access those when my resolution except for except but I don't know how to access those when my resolution is 800 by 600 if anyone knows I'd like to know but it's not too important when I'm working with a UST like this if it's just the blanks are from a MIDI or something I mean I know this wasn't from a MIDI I don't think because Lauren is awesome this is Rennie's but uh, when it's just you know almost no envelope is applied you won't need to use the accept P2, P3 things uh, just when it is applied. I hope this isn't. Anyway, so this is Kami Pon, and she's going to sing. And yeah, um, triphonics are rather easy. It's not too hard, and they're kind of fun. They're really easy. They make it really easy to make an Utau sound good. So yeah, listen. <laughs> Yeah, there was just one thing that kind of sounded weird. Um, let's find another place which is a little more... Yeah, let's just... Uh, let's make sure that everything is cleared here and everything is clear. Now let's add just some bread to zero. Flags, uh, Y3, H, H6, uh... That's are just two random flags that I put in to a lot of stuff, just because it makes it sound better. And now let, let's click accept just to see what it does. Now let's press play. Did you hear that? Let's play it again with the microphone right here. I hope you could hear that, but yeah, I'm not sure if you can, but it was Kami Pong in Triphones, and it's very smooth. 
Okay, now 